What's going on guys, it's Julian, and today we're going to be doing yet another carbon fiber install. But this one's a little bit more special. Um, for those of you who follow me, know that I have been waiting for parts from Carbonetics for almost a year. So we have the roof spoiler. We have the CSL uh, spoiler and honeycomb. And I also have the airbag delete tray, which I actually just disconnected the battery. I'm gonna let it sit for maybe about half an hour before I start to work on that. But we're gonna start with the roof spoiler. So the roof spoiler is gonna sit at the very top. So what I went ahead and did is that I wiped it down, cleaned it. We wanna make sure it's completely clean before trying to install it. Um, it just installs with some double-sided tape. I was also told to get this adhesion promoter. I have used it in the past and it's supposed to help stick the double-sided tape a lot better because we really don't want this flying off. So we're gonna get started with that. So this is what the, the adhesion promoter looks like. And what it basically is, is kind of like a glue. So I put it on first. I couldn't record it because everything's a really quick process, but you wipe it where you're gonna pretty much put this on with double-sided tape it is not moving this is solid it is not going to fall off and that's exactly what we want so the next part is the honeycomb csl spoiler now i took off the high rise and for this reason i am not actually going to be running this until i can properly get these filled but i am going to do a little bit of a test fit and let's see how it looks so obviously it's not held down by anything but it's gonna take some getting used to because everyone's used to the high rise, but I wanted to switch it up. And the honeycomb is just amazing. So it's been about 30 minutes after I disconnected the battery. Um, Should be good now. So I'm gonna wanna take off these two bolts. And I already took off the screws, but there's gonna be four flathead screws that connect like right up here. Or not flathead, uh, Phillips. Take those off, take off these two bolts, and then this should just pop right off. So the airbag is now unclipped, but it is still connected to this yellow cable. Once you disconnect that, it should just pop out, and then we should be ready to put it in. So now I got the cable disconnected. It's out. And here's how it sits. As you can tell, the fitment's not perfect, but with double-sided tape, it should be fine. Here's how it looks with it all on. You can see that the fitment's not perfect, but it is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber most of the time does not fit perfect, but here it is. The quality is amazing. No complaints. The only complaint is it did take a while, but Carbonetics is known for taking a long time. I took the risk and it looks really good. I plan on making another video once the new spoiler is on, so that way you can get a complete look of it. Um, I'm not going to put it on up until maybe after this week. I have a show this Saturday. I'll make sure I make a video. But yeah, here was the install of the carbon fiber airbag delete tray and the roof visor. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And see you next time.